Welcome back, everyone, to Security Weekly, episode 400 in support of EFF. That's right. You can go to EFF.org forward slash donate. Uh, before I introduce my next guest, I want to announce the winner of our T-shirt contest. The T-shirt contest involved you sending in a picture of yourself listening to the show. I put up an example. Security Weekly Selfies. Security Weekly Selfies. So it's Security Weekly Selfie Contest. And I want to announce the winner who will win a free Hack Naked t-shirt. Patrick is our winner. That's right. There is Patrick right there blowing the most gigantic cloud of vape smoke. But that's not the only reason I picked the winner for Patrick. Patrick says, I've been listening to the show since 2006 and have not changed my shirt since hearing my first episode. <laughs> so I really need this shirt as I am sure it will help me get all the chicks and secure my Windows environment. Thanks and great work. So Patrick... You are the winner of a much needed, apparently, brand new Hack Naked Security Weekly t-shirt. Thank you for participating in the contest. Have you really been doing this since 2006? Uh, 2005, actually. This is our ninth wow. year, Chris. Had Nagy, who is now on the show. Welcome, Chris, oh, to sorry, the show. Sorry, yeah. That's I, okay. I, I was shocked. What's going on? And uh, we have Michelle with us as well. Hey, y'all. Uh... I, I, before we get started, I have to give a special shout out to my pretty princess, Dr. Bones. Love you. I'll see you soon. Oh, there you go. We don't get too many shout outs on the show. That, that was, that was <laughs> nice. uh, before we get started, this interview is sponsored by Black Squirrel, pen test networks from your browser. Exploit the limits of network security through just a browser. Have a Chrome exploit in your toolkit? Good. But for the rest of us, there's Black Squirrel. Visit blacksquirrel.io for more information. So, Chris and Michelle, it's very nice to have you on this very special episode. And, um, Michelle, since you've never been on the show before, why don't you uh, just describe... Now, do you, do you work for Chris? Have him help you? Um, yes, he pays me. I wouldn't say I work for him. Oh, there you go. Wow. <laughs> negotiated a sweet deal. Wow. Wow. I am not going to touch that one with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> wow, that hurts so bad, my heart. That's not what yes, hurts, I, Chris. I work for Chris. So I'm a pen tester be, with Chris. Okay. She used okay. to be employed. <laughs> now, now, Chris, we can't see you. What? We can't. I can't see you. Oh, I want to see your, on, your shining, on. happy, sexy face. We can fix that. Face. Here we are. All right, it's been... Uh, no! <laughs> oh, yes. That's, that's, that's very nice. Thank you for what? enabling your, what? your video. What? <laughs> what? Is there, what? Is there a problem? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Oh, We're just okay. wondering what happened to your face. That's a... What? What do you mean what happened to my face? My face always looks like this. Michelle okay. said you know I'm... Joff, you didn't know that? Chris, be quiet and let me talk to Michelle. Oh, so, okay. Sorry. Michelle, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm told you're here today to talk about the DEF CON SECTF, the Social Engineering Capture the Flag, and how the EFF helped. And it kind of sounds like a story, so I was wondering if you would kind of go through the story with us. Oh, well, I, I think it's safe to say that EFF keeps us out of jail, um, keeps us in business. And so whenever we have questions about questionable activities, uh, EFF is always the first, first, they're always the first that we call. And um, our special friend there, Marsha, was a part of our CTF this year. She, she got to do some Q&A. And so I think it's really important for people to know that there is definitely a line with um, uh, social engineering and and they are very, very good at keeping us out of trouble and making sure we do the right things. Chris, I don't know what else you want to say about that, but I think it's really important. Well, when we first started the CTF, um, we wanted to do something that kind of got to the line but didn't cross over too much. And since none of us are lawyers, getting to that line was, was difficult. So the EFF are the ones who kind of reviewed all of our rules and regulations, our flags, the companies that we wanted to call um, the first year the FBI called us in and wanted to review everything because they were being told that we were going to you know, hack companies and make everything scary. So the EFF supported us in that and helped us d develop our you know, counter argument and all those things. So if it wasn't for them, I mean literally I don't think the CTF would be going for the last five years uh, without their support. That's awesome. Um so, uh, how, what was the conversation like with the EFF when you, you called them up and said that we want to... We, well, describe for our listeners first what, is what, it, what you're doing with the social engineering capture the flag. Okay, so we, we, we have a glass booth. And, um, well, let's, let's back up even. People sign up for the CTF. We're not talking about what you do on weekends, Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> sorry. I, that was the weekends. I meant, I meant to talk about DEF CON. <laughs> yeah, let me, uh, let, me, let me back up a little bit. What the heck is that? What is what? That Santa. is Jack. Oh, that's Jack. That's Jack. That's Father Christmas. 
No, that is that is drinks of Christmas. The ghost of drinks of Christmas past. He's making wow. sure to appropriately decorate our drink. Drinks of uh, Christmas. He's, he's a little squeeze, scary. He looks he looks more like a like a Spanish monk or something from um, yeah. the 14th lemon. century. Anyhow, anyway. um, so we we have people sign up to be a contestant. They get given a target company. They have to do OSI on the target company for t for two or three weeks, um, build a report on them, and then they have to come to DEFCON, sit in a glass booth in front of like 500 people, and make multiple phone calls to this company to gather intel. And the the so the the flag the conversation with the F was like, hey, here's the concept, and here's the flags we want to have them ask. Can we get arrested for this? <laughs> that in essence was the conversation. And they went through the list and said, "Well, you can get and they arrested." They said yes. For, yeah, right. <laughs> you can get arrested for these five, but these fifteen are okay. So let's take out those five, you know. And uh, and then they helped us with things like everyone wanted us to record the session, so can we record it? So they helped us with those questions, uh, videotaping, all those kind of little things that, you know, just we didn't know anything about and they helped us figure it out and make the CTF viable and cool. And we haven't been chased since. <laughs> well, except I mean, on weekends you know, in Chris's glass box. Yeah, yeah, right, I mean, right. Totally. And, and there were safe words involved. And, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say that we've never been tased. Maybe oh, no, that's, there's no safe words if there's a real relationship. Come on. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, I, I don't know who she is, guys. <laughs> I don't know who she is. Yeah, wow. but I like her. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's looking for a job right now, so yeah. if you're hiring. No. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's not really my power. How, how convenient I happen to be hiring. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's within Larry's power. <laughs> By the way, if you offer her a job, you're dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> shit. Chris, pipe down while I talk to Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michelle, I, I think there's a call you have to be on. You need to go. <clears throat> hey, Chris, uh, can you get that for her? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm going. <laughs> so, Michelle, what, I love you, boys. <laughs> oh, what, wow. what, what types of uh, penetration testing engagements uh, are you working on, or used to work on, for Chris? Well, uh, fortunately, I actually am very fortunate in this. Chris lets me participate in all of the fun activities, so I get to do a little bit of fishing, a little bit of fishing, and a little bit of. Um, break in disguised as naughty nurse so you know you, oh, you name wow. it and and i get to no, do it, it wasn't and it's a naughty nurse. Nurse. okay <laughs> yeah well it, <laughs> chris is like freaking out right but now. there were no safe words involved that, that's all i can say about it there Are wasn't there with that one that was a really bad bad test wait why, why <laughs> bad, oh, bad, bad oh, equals right. good right? why was it a she, bad test cuz she she okay so so Oh, wow. Now that you, you brought it up, tell. I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> yeah, do we, we we had broken into this company like four times. No, no, no. I'm not times. asking you, Chris. I'm asking Michelle. Just keep it down. Go right? ahead, Michelle. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell me. Well, you know, the the people were really really nice, and and that's part of the problem is that that it was a badge facility. It was a it was a secure lobby. And I was really helpless, and I was dressed as a nurse, but but I was a singing telegram nurse, and, and really not that common. <laughs> and so they were really nice enough to kind of let me in and escort me into the facility and escort me to the office of the VP at this company, um, where I delivered a singing telegram. I really took one for the team because I'm not a singer by what, any what stretch, I promise you. I can do lots of things, but singing is not one of them. I should ask her for a sample. <laughs> yeah, what are we going no, to do? I'm not yeah. doing it here. That would ruin everybody's. Did day, you sing Happy Birthday, or was it some custom <laughs> message? Um, it was. It was an old '60s song. This guy was like an old rock guy, and um, gosh, uh, do you remember that song? It, 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 it very much reminds me of the scene from feet. Ferris Bueller's yeah. Day Off. So anyway, I'm, I'm not yeah. even gonna, <laughs> going to punish you. I with think the you sample. should sing the first line so they know what song it is. <laughs> yeah, just one. No, line. no, <laughs> you on. can sing it for them. I, I wasn't but, dressed up as a nurse. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> but the bottom line is, I, I got some information about this very nice gentleman I got into the badge facility and um, it was it was naughty and I enjoyed it <laughs> enough said oh. let's just take a moment okay. of silence Chris, <laughs> back to you <laughs> <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting really hot in here wait is it getting hot here I'm lucky I went through a wardrobe change <laughs> so Chris tell us about this year's uh, 2015 uh, DEFCON SEC TF oh. You, you sure you want me to do that? You want Michelle to tell you? 
No, uh, mm-hmm. no, I need to take a break. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> for a moment. I can just sit here and you know look pretty if you want me to. You know. And you're doing a fine job of that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Actually, you can you put the mask back on? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little prettier. Oh, thanks, Larry. I love um, you. Chris. I love you. Chris. Yeah. So, so this year, uh, I don't know how much I could say because we don't we don't announce the theme beforehand, but I will tell you that we chose the theme. Before some recent news events occurred. Oh shit! And and I went back to the lawyers to say, so now that all this stuff happened, what do you think? And they're like, go for it. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. it's going to be it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting year. Um, we are launching it early. Uh, last year, something kind of cool happened. DefCon gave us our own official track. The SE Village became a track, and all of our speeches and stuff were recorded so this year we got the same privilege um we have our own track so we're going to be choosing uh we have cfp launched along with our sign up for the sectf and we only have a certain amount of slots so people will need to sign up early and get in there and and to become part of it um what it's the, the same winner? kind of setup. What it's is just the, the theme will be different, and some of the flags will be different. And I will say, maybe here's one thing we can announce, because we always do this on Paul.com. We always say things that on we never what? say anywhere else. Uh, uh, I'm, not what, familiar with that. I'm not familiar with that. Everybody show, drink. You, you mean Paul Security Weekly? Yeah, yeah you mean uh, yes, Paul Security, Paul Security Weekly. Weekly. That podcast is what I meant. It was Michelle's yes. fault. She put Paul Duck. No, it's not. It's my fault. Sorry. Don't say it. Don't say it. It's okay. I'll take Paul it. Security Weekly. Yes. So I always do this on Paul Security Weekly. I always say things I never say anywhere else. So let's do it. Um, one of the things we're going to do this year is uh, add code words, or what are we calling them? We're going to add safe words. Safe words, yes. <laughs> <laughs> adding safe words. No. People will have to. Says that so well. <laughs> people will have to do weird things during their phone calls, like add in words like meow. "jub jub," meow, or something stupid. Like that, they will have to add in some kind of crazy word mm. and make it fit. So, Chris, when uh, so this was a little bit of kind of initiation for Sans instructors within good humor amongst us, no hazing or anything like that. Just <laughs> to be clear, um, that was what we referred to as uh, the phrase that pays. And when you were starting to teach at your national conferences, yes. uh, the instructors would challenge you at lunchtime yes. to include the phrase that pays. They did that to me early on. My phrase was "Dirty Sanchez." Nice. My phrase, my so phrase was back when I was a woman. Uh, <laughs> and that that would have been easy, right? Because yeah, he that was, was a woman. Just a natural. Yeah. That so was yeah. A challenge so we come that. back from lunch and we start talking. And I said, so back when I was a woman, we start teaching this module. And then just. And just kept going. Just didn't even look at. Didn't going. even bat an eye and just went kept, kept going. And nobody noticed, did they? Nope. No. Yeah. No one bat So eye. that's what we're hoping. We're hoping to make them like that. So the the phrase that pays, and they get extra points for every time they add one of these phrases into their their pretext. And um, winning, you know, we're trying because last year what we did, we thought it was going to be difficult. We thought we were going to add um, a level of difficulty that would give the companies a leg up. So we put two people in the booth at the same time, and we thought that they'd have to explain to the target on the phone why there was two people on the phone at the same exact time. And that never happens. How many times you get called and there's two people on the line and you just accept that? So we thought this will be a giant red flag for the companies, and it, you know it will make it more difficult for the social engineers. And it didn't. I mean, people would ask, "Why is there someone else on the phone?" And everyone had these like crazy statements. Like one guy said, um, "Oh, I'm on the Adobe Connect line. I'm training her how to do the job." So she's listening into the call. Nice. Other people would say, oh, this is my, you know, um, um, auditing partner, and he's got to ask you questions about the network, and I'm going to ask you questions about uh, the, 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 you know, HR part of it. Yeah, we really, we didn't have anybody get shut down because of no. the weird pretext, nice. so nice. it was kind of an interesting demonstration of so, that. So you two will appreciate this one about the weirdness. So we've been having calls from... Wait, are you saying that they're weird? No, no, no. They'll appreciate this weirdness for this call. We, <laughs> oh, had, uh, we have this... Uh, Michelle is weird, though. ...company company called City, according to their uh, caller ID, calling the house, and I googled the number and did all this stuff on it, and it turns out it's a big scam. They're trying to get your personal mm-hmm. information. Um, but it's really weird because they have a lot of the information from City 
that that you need. And they so you gave them my <laughs> information. No, 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 <laughs> no. I called, but of course and you did. I am not the primary account holder. It's my wife. So the first time they called, they asked for my wife, and I said, "No, I'm sorry, she's not at home right now." Okay, we'll try back later. And when they called back the next time, they said, "Can we speak to?" And I said, "This is she." <laughs> <laughs> and there was a slight pause, only a slight pause, in my dad. And then the call continued. Yes, we need you to uh, verify your uh, <laughs> security word. And I said, uh, "What now?" They said, "It's usually your your mother's maiden name." And I said, "Janowski." And they said, "Can you spell that for me?" S M I T H. <laughs> and there was a slight pause. They said, "Don't worry about that. They're all silent." You know, this is the old Jar- George Carlin joke. And they said, okay, <laughs> great. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Or ma'am. Um, <laughs> and yes, it was that. Thank you, sir. I mean, ma'am. Um, and can you verify the last four digits of your social security number? Yes. 0014, which is not the case. Great. Thank you very much. You've got it right on. So it looks like your balance is not quite up to date. And I said, great. I'll make a go, wait, go make a payment online right now. Thank you very much. Click. Like, first, I'm clearly not my wife when my yeah. voice is. If they had questioned, I would have said, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. My, my, no, my sex change operation hasn't been approved by the medical insurance. Right, right. <laughs> my, my, my hormone <laughs> treatments are not working quite well. <laughs> I'm just, but, yeah. But they didn't, they, very little batting of an eye because they must deal with that all the time. So. Wow. Absolutely. What so what else can we expect from the sec TF? Yeah, naughty nurse, please. <laughs> oh, <I> mean, <laughs> wait, was I stuck on that? I, you were, you I, I were was having stuck a problem. Yeah. Yeah. I think we can take that under advisement. Yeah, oh, no. loving it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> love it, love it. No. We have a kids event. We have a kids event oh, that no, runs PG. in the same room. Oh. oh, in the same, but not at the same time, right? Well, you could well, section off no, part of the room. Well, no, I mean, sure. Saturday, you know, the kids are there and... What it's is the kid, is there, so do you run a social engineering event for kids? We do. We run like a, um, so it's different than the phone calls. It's what do you more do, like get them to run their, to do their homework? <laughs> nice. No. We we tell me what solve, works. <laughs> make them solve ciphers and pick locks and uh, figure out codes and do it all without a computer. They have to use their brains, and they have to do it while solving like a like a who done it kind of puzzle. Um, and it's running around all of DEF CON and talking to different people and interviewing people and finding little clues out that we hide all over the place, and they got to put them together, and the first one to accomplish it wins. Now, how so we've been does that doing that for, what, three years now, four years, three years? Yeah, that's now, that's part of uh, Roots, right? Well, so it was, it was, um, and this is another big thing last year. Um, because of the popularity of it, DEF CON made it an official DEF CON event. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it got taken out of the kids, uh, you know, the kids DEF CON uh, roots, it and it got it. put as an official DEF CON event now. Yep. And what's the age group? Yeah, what's the age group? Uh, what did we do last year? It was 6 to 12? 12, I think, yeah. 6 oh, to 12? Bummer. My kids have aged out. Damn it. Minus yeah, everyone one. keeps asking us to do like one for older kids. And yeah, you need to do one for the older teens because I really love to torture my, my teens. My, mine has just entered said age group. <laughs> oh yeah, Larry's, Larry's, Larry's all set then. Uh, yeah, but she's she's more interested in My Little Pony right about now than anything else. But yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we've seen little kids cry. So you have something it's pretty difficult. They have I to do. be into this stuff. We actually shoot for making little kids cry. We do. That's kind of that's kind of our internal like, mantra. Like if we don't get anyone like to mantra. cry, we're very very sad. It's like my now, mantra. Is there a, a prize for the kids? <laughs> CTF or. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of pro- – so we, we, we usually give the kids something pretty neat like, you know, like a um, uh, remote control helicopter with a hidden camera on it or – Oh, that's um, useful for kids to spy on people. Yeah, well, <laughs> so we – so the first year we drone. did it that – is, that is a good funny story. The first year we did it, we gave the kids a bunch of spy stuff. Like I gave the kids a, a pen with a hidden camera and one of those cameras you can slip under a door and <laughs> – and I, I wasn't thinking. Oh, no. And the parents no, of the kids who won came back and they were like, hey, so next year we have a suggestion. You might want to give the kids, you know, prizes that don't get them expelled from school. <laughs> yeah, just just, and, just saying, right? <laughs> just saying, you know? And I'm like, oh, crap, I didn't even think about that, you know? I mean, it's a social engineering thing. So we started giving them, you know, robotics that they can put together and, you know, remote control helicopters with uh, cameras on them and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because so. see, me as a kid, 
I'd take that camera that goes under the door and I'd slide it under my parents' door, hoping I could catch them like with Christmas gifts. And I'd probably I'm glad you said Christmas I, I'm, gifts. I'm, yes, I was having a moment. Oh, and I, what the hell? As, a, as a kid, <laughs> and I'd probably catch them with something completely different completely that would different. ruin my childhood and my adult life. Probably yeah. something that Dave would use I, if he was a serial. Well, we already talked yeah. about the fact that we've all got mummy issues, right? I mean, you know, right, yeah. right. Mummy, not mummy. Ma- mommy, uh, me, uh, mother, mother, mother issues. That was actually the the theme of Michelle's DefCon speech this past year. Mommy issues. Yeah. <laughs> what? That all geeks have mother issues. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about your mother, man? <laughs> Makes a difference. Wow, this conversation uh, could go south really quick. <laughs> well, okay, let me let me warn you guys. Michelle is literally a shrink. Uh, I could tell. She's a shrink by that's her schooling, and she's a uh, she's a professor from the Naval Academy. So you no, got to be no, no Air Force. Will I you say Naval? again? Shut up and let her talk about herself. <laughs> <laughs> for I'm, so still, I'm still stuck on the nurse thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to bring Is it around bad? to something else. <laughs> so, Michelle, tell us about your background. Oh, well, um, I do have a background in counseling, so that, that's was, um, that was where my graduate work came in. But I got my start in security as well, so I have sort of a foot in both, which makes me sort of creepy and... and um, not yeah, sure. creepy and scary in lots of different ways. <laughs> but it, it does make me um it does make me fairly useful in the world of SE. No doubt. Mm-hmm. I can imagine you have a high degree of success, especially with your background as well. And of course <laughs> being female and doing social engineering, uh, in our extensive research and interviewing people on the show <laughs> results in a much higher degree of success. Apparently it, it can be really helpful, I, I have to say. Um and, and if you have a little bit of range as an S E that can be helpful too. Um we were talking with a client earlier this morning about vision calls and how we can sort of impersonate everything from I don't know, hungover drunk college girl to manager of HR and, and I think a lot of times people are more comfortable with women still. It's unfortunate yeah. but true, right? Makes yep. us successful in that way. Yeah, and, and I think a lot of that is just knowing knowing women and that they're very empathetic and empathic and um, you wouldn't expect and most of us have mommy (laughs) issues and yeah no (laughs) well yeah the guys it short circuits their lizard brain and and no you even women (laughs) even women too because they expect to be speaking to someone that they're very uh, a a personality potentially that they're very familiar with and to have someone that think evilly in the background it's not it's a foreign concept to both men and women that a woman would ever be evil that's true. Yeah, I, and I think yet, that's fair, yeah. And, and yet they're the most deceptive Decepticons on the planet. Yeah. Could be. <laughs> Generally. Well, think about oh, it. Wow, okay, so I just made a lot of women <laughs> friends right there. Um, you got Michelle, who's like soft-spoken and quiet and has a really soft voice. And my other female teammate has like the southern, the southern bell voice going on. It's just there's no winning. There's just no winning. It's like constant obliteration every month. Y- you know, it's it's actually really interesting you mentioned the Southern thing because my wife is a Southerner, and uh, she actually did some SE work for us at one time and was amazingly successful by just playing that sort of yeah. uh, helpless, um, somewhat ignorant Southern woman in somewhere in the North. And, uh, wow, the success rate was just outstanding. So It is scary. Uh, I, I'd love to hear a sample of Hungover Drunk Girl. Do you think we could do that? With, with the color? <laughs> is, is that possible? Can we do that? Oh, gosh. Oh, you know, um, I am so hungover this morning. I'm just, um, I, I've lost my cell phone and, um, you know, I, I've got, I'm, I'm trying to get into my email, and it keeps telling me that um, it keeps telling me that I'm locked out or something, and, and, and I just I don't know why that would be. I uh, I really need to get in and log in because I, I think I have an email from from my professor, and I'm just wondering if, can can you help me? I, I'm I really I don't know much about computers, and yes, oh I feel so sick <laughs> right now. I'm really yeah, sorry. You, I think you had me at what the second the, word. <laughs> Wow, not you my guys, best work. I'm sorry. <laughs> so desperate. If she's hungover, she's got a headache. Jack, Jack, Jack. I, I, tra- I, I travel a lot. Yes, I am. But she's hungover, <laughs> so she has a headache. So no, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, you see that very well. I can see how that would be remarkably successful. It would work on me. 
Uh, but I'm yeah. probably an easy target. Very <laughs> yes, 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 you are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well th that said, if Chris were to call me, I'd probably tell him anything you want to know, too. That's right. <laughs> I can do a, a drunk girl also. No, I can't. You no. can? Yeah, Chris's no. drunk girl is actually quite good. Oh, no, come I on, can't. Chris. Come on. You got to do I, it now. I really can't, but, um, you know. All right. Oh, so what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. You, you, you had, Chris, 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 you like had, you, password, you had me at like is my password like email professor help Chris. me. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> Chris, Chris, you went too far. You had me at oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way Larry is. <laughs> is, that, is that good? That's okay. Good See, is. who yeah. wins, Michelle or me? Uh, Michelle. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and moving on. <laughs> and moving on quickly. There's oh, great. So, God. Chris, Michelle, was there other things you wanted to talk about? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just uh, talk, I, I don't even about, know where to go from here. You know, talk about um, the nurse again. Okay, wait. Uh, <laughs> shut up, Joff. <laughs> We love the, the great EFF. thing. The great thing uh, about talking to uh, professional social engineers is how they're <laughs> able to maintain control of their emotions and stay on track. Right? That's we right. We try very much. Very much so. <laughs> as opposed and other to, lies, as opposed to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that what you're saying? You you will note that neither Chris nor Michelle have batted an eyelash about anything we've said, and in fact, rolled with all of it. Well, so uh, let's further test that theory and get <laughs> into the five questions. How oh does no. that sound? My favorite all you, Michelle. Show. You can, I was oh, say, you no, can no, no. This. Not all you, oh, Michelle. No, no, no. Both <laughs> of you. You're going to answer. And if you've answered before, you're going to answer again. So how's that? Okay. All righty. Chris, are you ready? I'm going to make you go first just because oh, you're growing. Great. Three words to describe yourself. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. There's one. Here's another one. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. Um, That's three. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, three words to describe yourself. Atypical. Um, I guess that's my second word, huh? Atypical. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot more than, than three words. I, I didn't know these five questions were coming. I'm, I'm really that, that's tragically that's unprepared. That, that's the How point. about Asian? Asian. Atypical Asian. Atypical Asian. Um, that's um, two. One more. That's, that's fine. Combative. So, combative. Yeah. All right. Ooh, wow. Amen <laughs> to that. Michelle, <laughs> if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Hmm. Um. Well, that was for Michelle, that, Chris. That was for Michelle. Keep okay. You can, you can keep thinking. You can keep thinking, Chris. Yeah, you, put your panties back on, Chris. Come on. <laughs> um, my bare hands. Chris? Oh, wow. wow. Oh, <laughs> a knife. I'm scared what? now. What was that, Chris? Definitely a knife. Okay. Chris, if you were to write a book about yourself, what would the title be? 5,000 Ways to Fail and Learn from It. Michelle? Oh, crap. I did it again. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> we'll oh, it. oh, crap. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. It's all crap. I did it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michelle, in the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? I'm a retaliator, so I'm going to say second. Okay. Chris? I like to go neither. I don't like that game. <laughs> Chris, oh, choose pass. two celebrities to be your parents. Dead or alive? Two celebrities to be my parents. Okay. Um, uh... Let me see. Will Smith would be my dad. That'd be kind of cool, I think. And um, my mom. That's the tough one. This is the Freudian yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Who the heck would be my mom? Let's right. think. Because we know right now you're thinking hot, right? But then you're like, she's going to be my mom. So now I'm mixing the two, and now I'm really confused. Yes, thank you for making it worse. Um, you know who would be my mom? Is that chick who's Chloe on 24. There we go. Okay. Who's that chick? The We'll, we'll have, IMDB will tell us who no, that Peter is. No, Peter Wilson. Peter Wilson. There we Peter go. That's Wilson. my mom. Peter Wilson will be your mother? Yeah. Michelle? Oh. Jessica Lange. Wow. Mm. And, um, gosh, who's the guy from, um, I'm totally blanking on his name. He does a tattoo show now. David. Dave Counts? No. He was also in a band. 
Got the eyeliner and the oh, uh, 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 Dave Navarro. Dave Navarro. Yeah. Yes, yeah. thank you. Jessica Lange and Dave Navarro. And Jessica Lange, is she from like the original King Kong? Is there, no, King Kong? Or... She's like the 70s King Kong. Yeah, 70s King Kong. No, not no. the 30s King Kong. Yes, <laughs> that would be creepy. <laughs> But yeah, oh, Dave, that, that, that's uh, probably yeah. one of the most interesting picks today. That, yeah, see, Dave Navarro, <laughs> interesting choice. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. Uh, the, our first three guests, uh, or four guests, on yeah. the show, three. An- our first three interviews, at least one person answered Angelina Jolie as their mom. No, all three, all three answered three Angelina yeah. Jolie as really? their mom. Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, not me. At, at which uh. problem we had a collective. Wow, you've got mommy issues, and so do we. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Jessica Lang would totally win a fist fight with Angelina Jolie. I'd like to watch. I that. guarantee it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we're, I was going to say the same thing, John. I, I would agree with that. <laughs> I'd yes. like to watch. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I'd like as long as we're having as long as we're all having fantasies. I want to put Charlize Theron right. in that mix. Nice pick. Okay. Yeah. For your mom. Yeah. yeah. Thank Not necessarily for, for mom, but I mean, if we're if we're having these if we're having these juvenile male fantasies, right? <laughs> we're talking about our mom. Which clearly we are. Which uh, which clearly Jack hasn't had a juvenile thought in a long time. <laughs> uh, we still have two hours. It to takes go. ten There's years. Plenty to more form. time for juvenile thoughts. Jack. <laughs> it takes ten years to form a thought. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, we've been ragging on Jack so today. It's where, terrible. So where can people find more information about the social engineering? <laughs> Wait till you find CCF. out what's been in these drinks. Like legitimate information, yes. Yes, yes. legitimate yes. information. Legitimate yes. information. I.e., how they participate, past results, uh, past winning successes, and, and so forth. Social-engineer.org. And then uh, there's links to the CTF, all the past reports. When we announce the CFPs and the sign-ups, it will be on the .org. So the social-engineer.org site. And, of course... Um, Twitter is probably the best place to constantly follow what we're doing, which is uh, Human Hacker and SOC Engineer Inc. is Michelle's or corporate account. It's a corporate account. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, Chris, you have a book that would just came out not all that long ago, right? Okay, so I got well, I got the first book. I got a second book yeah. called Un- Unmasking the Social Engineer. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and hang on. Whoa, a third one. A third one. Well, I was going to show you the picture, but all I have is the Japanese version um, of the of the, uh, the 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 newest one. Let's see. Okay. The, let's see it. Oh, you want to see? Okay, yeah. Well, this is of the first one. But still. There we go. Yep. Nice. If, you know what? Because you know what, Paul, our never book never got translated into Japanese. No, certainly not. So that's cool. And, and Chris, I, I heard that's you amazing. I have that those same well, Japanese characters on my tramp stamp. If you're if you're if you want, <laughs> I'll, I'll do a little. There there it is in German. That got translated into German. Very nice. Yeah, but and you've got to say that in a really angry way because you do. You have to be like it's like dying. Yeah. Okay. So Chris, I, I, did you do pretty well <laughs> selling the books at the uh, conferences? So, by the way, I do got to give you guys credit. I'll do this later. Um, that was a great idea. So I was not doing that. And then I went to Derby, and Paul was like, hey, why aren't you, like, setting up book sales at your booth? And I'm like, I don't know, because I'm a moron. And, and, then, <laughs> and then I did. this past year, <laughs> I, and I sold and every book. And of books. And I'm like, oh, dude, cool, your books are for sale. He's like, yeah, you gave me the idea, remember? I'm like, oh, yeah. good for you. And at the end of the conference, they're all gone. And I'm like, see? Every <laughs> book was gone. I didn't have to bring any. I was so nervous about having to bring a suitcase bring, of books yeah. home. Oh, yeah, exactly. But, um, and then, yeah, and awesome. so, but in April, Michelle and I have a book coming out together. Oh, really? Um, it's called Fishing Dark Waters, The Malicious Side of Corporate Email. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah, you, you have to say it like that when you see the title. Is it, a, is it available for pre-order on Amazon yet? It is. Can you believe it? And we haven't even finished it yet, so yeah. therein lies the irony. Yes, but uh, it's all about creating a corporate phishing email awareness program. Very so cool. not as not it's not like our first my first two, but this is uh, much more relevant to uh, what's happening in the market right now. So kind of book, fishing dark waters, the offensive and defensive sides of malicious emails. There we go. That's the, actually the real title. That's the title. That's the title as listed on Amazon. Yeah, that's the real title. Go with what Larry said, not with what I said. <laughs> well, proceed to check out. Chris and Michelle, uh, next, Chris, next. you know, Finish. thank you for for coming back on the show, Michelle. It was very nice to meet you. Uh, we look forward to your book coming out. That's uh, excellent, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Thanks, guys. It was a lot Thanks, of fun guys. as usual. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Take care. With that, we're going to take a short break. Come back, 
We're going to be talking. What are we talking about next? Hold on. I look at this. <laughs> Shut what the hell video? time is it? And what Four. day is Mike it? Mike Poor. Mike Poor is coming on next. So stay oh. tuned. Don't go anywhere. All right. We'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Chris.